missed that on the own there. We'll go back and get it. Shouldn't be too bad. And then anti-white over there. It does exactly what you think it would do. Now, um, I believe we just want to uh, lower this. We'll go back and get that uh, that chest that was at the bottom over there. I thought there was access from the other side. From this right side. But there was not. And we have activated everything now. And now it's all shiny. We pretty much did this for our enemies last time when you really stopped to think about it. If we hadn't gone through and activated all the crystals, would they have had access to the flame that they did? Or was it a dragon tear? Either way, we're, we're going to go this way. So that we can get uh, access to the treasure chest. I think I have to go around this way. We'll go up and explore what's up there in a bit, too. But for the time being, I just want to go over here. Yeah, I could have just gone down the stairs, couldn't I? I keep on forgetting that this has stairs. I'm so used to the prologue because I have to do it so many times that I forget I can just do that. All right, uh, let's head up. Let's stop the music so we can beam up. Three to beam up, Scotty. Never says beam up, Scotty. Not once. Never. It's always a number to beam. And we have made it back to the top. Let's see what awaits us at the scary door. Nothing scary, surprisingly. It's just like a normal door, just bigger. Come, my little dragon. We must see what all this is about. There's there's nothing. I didn't think there would be, but I was hoping for a le at least a little bit, bit of a dialogue or explanation or anything. But unfortunately, there is nothing here. So I will meet you outside because we're pretty much done in Fort Dragonia. And it's kind of a long journey back to my ship. So I'll uh, just meet you back at our little pontoon thing. Back outside, I still wanted to show off Draggy if I could get a chance to. So we're gonna go ahead and leave him in the party completely unequipped properly. And we will move out on our military grade boat. And we are headed to a new location. We haven't actually been here yet. So let us go to the El Nido Triangle. As a next stop in our uh, little side quest journey today. This looks particularly shiny. Let's go in. And somehow we appear underwater. Don't worry though, somehow we can breathe. And we can find new enemies. Because after all, we have not done fighting underwater before. So you might expect these guys to be new. We'll start off with Draggy as we take off two schools of schoolmates. These guys are in a color blue, and uh, th this is what it looks like when Draggy fights, even if he's not underwater. All right, that worked out pretty well. Let's go for a cough mix. That will hit everybody, cough up a fireball, then beat wings to magnify it. Hit everybody with it, Draggy. Believe in you, Draggy. I shouldn't have believed in Draggy so much. It didn't work out all that well. Uh, let's have Link's attack, I guess. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember these guys being particularly strong. Could you, could you not? All right, uh, go, go. Seriously? Yeah, we're, now we're only up to four. All right, uh, Norris, you're up then. Do what you can. If they survive, it's, it's honestly okay. Uh, we'll do more damage to him later. Draggy, you're up again. Go against the one that you've done the most damage to here. Do what you can. All right, you, fi you finished him off. And not too difficult, these good right, And then we got all that going. Let's go for a cough drop. How does the fireball work underwater? Surprisingly well. 133 and down go the schoolmates. Yeah, we'll leave Dragon in the party. It's not that big of a deal. 
We'll switch over to Van later on. 1,852 gold our way. We will heal using the Cure Plus, and I found some Mithril among the School of Fish. Not entirely sure how that happened, but we got scale as well. That's a little bit more expected. Uh, we can head, I believe, over here to nothing, uh, but we can find another new enemy behind that School of Fish that I'm probably going to have to fight now. I got past him. And we can find another new enemy here. We can find a Puffy. Oh, it's yellow. That's not particularly good for me. But uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do with our normal damage. Oh no, need a work. 57, that's actually pretty good. Probably shouldn't have made fun of it so much. Go Feral Cats. Every time I'm reminded of radical things. Every time. And down goes one of them. These guys are even weaker than the school of fish. After all, they're just one fish. How could they hold up to an entire school? More needlework. We're just gonna go ahead and switch over to Norris. Just so I have some heals, because Draggy doesn't have any heals. And, and with that, we'll, we'll get back up to full. No problem. For that victory, we get 2,220 gold. We're getting a lot of gold out of this. Cure Plus does the trick and another scale, as you might suspect. No mithril this time, though. All right, we want to head northeast here where we can find a mithril. Hooray. Let's actually just continue on and try to avoid the enemy if we can. Nope, couldn't quite do it. From here, we can head deeper and down. Further underwater, once again, do I have to hit right? I'm holding right now, down stopped all of a sudden. Okay, sure, don't worry about uh, pressure underwater either, somehow that's magically taken care of as well. Just gonna try to avoid these schools of fish. No reason really for me to fight them, other than maybe Mithril, but I'm not that concerned about Mithril at this point. I'm much more concerned about other things. Yeah, couldn't quite avoid all of these guys. Let me take care of all of them around here, and I'll be back. With all of them now gone, I think there were four or five of them, we have access to a star fragment. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. I don't think we have... Oh, we, I think maybe we have. No, this is new. It looks just like an ordinary starfish, but is said to have secret power. Hopefully we'll have a chance to use it later on something. Who knows what it could be? But for the time being, I'm going to try to avoid enemies. And I'm not doing a particularly good job of it. Let's continue on and once again try to avoid enemies. Although I'll be bad at it again, I'm sure. We need to go south this time. Uh, they're on this side. No, they curved around. No, they're doing circles. All right, we, we got past you. Past you. There we go. I'm getting a little better at it. And over here we can find a treasure chest with another piece of mithril in it. Although at this point, I'm really looking forward to more denaterite. I'll take the mithril for what it's worth. All right, we are done in the El Nido Triangle. Got the few things that I wanted to get. Uh, the star fragment and, uh, well, other assorted treasure chests. But for the time being, we are good. We'll just go ahead and leave. Now, I might have to look something up before... I head to the next area, uh, but for the time being, we are ready to leave the El Nido Triangle. Do I just go off the screen? Yeah, I just go off the screen. All right, so uh, the first thing that I wanted to look up uh, was if I can actually forge uh, an upgrade in equipment. I cannot. By the way, this is what happens when you use the... Uh, when you use the smith spirit you just make this so unfortunately i still don't have access to actually craft using the denaderite although i have denaderite all right the other thing is going to be a little bit more complicated and i'm going to have to do off screen so hold on while i take care of it looked up where i need to look up also brought van back into the party just for the time being i'll probably rearrange the party a bit later and i'll go over what i looked up in a bit uh, but for the time being we are going to head to sky dragon isle now that we have the star fragment we can indeed head here although you could come here before just can't 
do much. For the time being, we want to head up this gentle slope so that we can find people. We've been warned not to go not to go near this place, but we came anyway. We adventurers get all fired up when they tell us not to go somewhere. I'm sure you do. This is the land where the sky dragon resides, but after the dragon disappeared, a gigantic monster moved in. It took away the star fragment I had worked so hard to get. Well, if I wouldn't have had it, the monster would have taken my life instead. You don't know that, but that kind of provides us with a clue, doesn't it? We need something called a star fragment, which we now have. There is nothing down here. We can't even fight this guy who's chasing the butterfly and I'm preventing that from happening. I feel kind of guilty about that. Go get your butterfly. He'll eventually catch up. All right, so we need to head up here. I will say that I am lacking a certain trap element. And if you have it, I would highly suggest uh, equipping it. And I'll, I'll go over exactly what that is uh, when we actually get into something. Perhaps this could be the site of the ancient Dragonites. Perhaps. Or we could head further on to find this. What the hell is that? That's my question. What is that? Dude, something? There's a gigantic monster here. It seems that the monster won't attack you if you don't have a star fragment. Oh, it won't attack us if you don't have a star fragment. You can actually put this off for a long, long time. I'll just go ahead and say what the trap element is now since they're kind of giving away that we're gonna fight something. It's the Ultra Nova trap element, uh, but I honestly only need one of those and uh, we'll have other opportunities to get it, but this is the first opportunity once again. All right, let's open the chest. It's empty. Give me Star Fragment. No, it's here. And it is boss time. We are up against a gigantic baby alien. I'm gonna go with baby alien. Uh, this is Mega Starkey. And uh, since there's only one of them, we're gonna have Van go first. Do what damage he can. He's so shiny. Uh oh. 60 damage right off the bat with a couple shots from his ray gun? It's some kind of gun, but I didn't see any rays or anything shoot out of it. Uh, you have Eagle Eye, don't you? Everybody has Eagle Eye. Go ahead and put that in the next place. I feel like it's better suited to him because of the innate color of Mega Starkey, uh, which is white. So let's go ahead and use him to do work. Actually, maybe it would be better on Norse still. Radiation incoming! That, di that didn't do much. Norse, you're up. Do what you can, which actually might be considerable. Unless you can't hit anything. This is not quite as good. We'll go ahead and start with a Spiral Ray, and we'll try to take down Mega Stargate. Eighty-eight. That's not as good as I was hoping for, but I'll take it, I guess. All right. Oh, there's a good hit. Okay, we're gonna have to heal Van. Van, you can actually do it yourself for the time being. Just. Do what you can again. I found that Van is not necessarily all that accurate. And of course, as soon as I say that, he hits everything. Uh, go ahead and cure plus yourself. That seems like it's mighty important right about now. Not quite full, but we're getting there. Links, go in, do more work. If you could get a critical, that would help me out quite a bit. Meteorite incoming. Who's that going to? Van again? Mega Starkey really does not like Van. You can get your links would have done a lot better. Uh, I think I can still get one more in, so we'll have Norse do some more. 139 on critical. Eagle Eye probably would have been better on him. All right, uh, let's go for the Sun Shower. I know it hits everybody, but it's still more powerful than anything else he's got on him right now. hundred and seventy-two! He still lives! 
to pick on Ban some more. Seriously, he is focused. 